developing news from KXAN Austin News. It had nothing to do with the shooting investigation. And quite frankly, I'm offended. An angry Chief Art Acevedo welcoming multiple investigations into the city's DNA crime lab. That move comes after a former DNA analyst said co-workers were not trained well and could have compromised evidence in some key cases. KXAN's Aaron Cargile live in East Austin with the very latest. Aaron. Hey, Leslie, we are outside APD's crime lab right now where Police Chief Art Acevedo just wrapped up a press conference. It was a direct reaction to the former employee's comments to the media last night that DNA evidence in the high-profile Nathaniel Sanders case could have been compromised. Now, Cecily Hamilton is the former DNA analyst who resigned on paid leave while the department was looking into her allegations. Chief Acevedo said there will be three completely separate audits of the crime lab over the next few months. First comes the routine Department of Justice audit in about two weeks, which was already scheduled. It happens every five years, and now they will have full access to all of the cases in question and Hamilton's allegations. Second, the district attorney is going to hire an independent company to come in and conduct an audit. And third, Chief Acevedo has asked the Texas Rangers to then come in and reinvestigate. They'll also give them full access to all of the reports and allegations. Now, as far as evidence being compromised in the Nathaniel Sanders officer-involved shooting, Chief Acevedo says there is no way. She brought up Nathaniel Sanders, knowing full well that there was no problem in that investigation. I, I have a real problem with that. I think that we as professionals, and I would hope that she's a professional, understand our responsibility to this community. I can't sit back and not respond to that. Now, Hamilton, the former analyst, also said last night that she contaminated DNA in a case, but she could not recall which one. And to that, Chief Acevedo said today he hopes her memory returns when she talks to the Texas Rangers. We're live in East Austin, Aaron Cargile, KXA and Austin News.